Hey guys so if you want to know the best builds for Buddha users that boost their stats then this video is for you. I will explain pros and cons of every build so make sure to watch till the end. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments what is your favorite Buddha build. Ok so for the number 5 we will go with the easiest one to get. So for the accessory, black spiky coat. Why? Well you can get it pretty easily from the Jeremy boss at the second C and you get 7.5% more damage on any attack and additional 200 energy and health. Which is overall decent. And for the fighting style you will go for the electric claw, or electric if you are at the second C. So many players know that the electric claw is one of the best fighting styles for Buddha. And there are a ton of reasons for that. Very high damage, high mobility, really fast attack speed, low cooldowns, relatively easy to get. So it's perfect for grinding, with Buddha you should be aimed to grind, and when you want a PvP you should switch to some other fruit. And for the race if you are a bit earlier in the game just use what race you have but, later you can switch to either Mink or Human, both work well. This one is a bit different. For the accessory you will need the top hat. You can get top hat when defeating sea beasts, you have 25% chance of getting it after you defeat a sea beast. It's generally good for any build so it works with Buddha as well. But highlight of this build is its fighting style. The water kung fu. It's a really great fighting style especially for grinding because all of its moves don't have much knockback so you can spam M1. Also really fast attacks and high damage make it even better. Only con for this fighting style is that it's bad in PvP. But since we don't do that with Buddha we alright. And lastly. For the race I suggest you the shark race. It's good for enduring attacks which this build requires since you are using aggressive fighting style. Now the next 3 builds are really up. This first one uses swan glasses for the accessory. You can get the swan glasses from the swan boss at the second C, 2.5% of getting. And this accessory is really good, plus 250 energy and health, plus 8% damage, defense and cooldown reduction, plus 25% movement speed. And now this op accessory is going to work well with the superhuman fighting style. Why superhuman? Well it has high damage, good mobility, insanely fast attacks, and overall one of the best fighting styles. Since this is the build that I used most of my blocks fruits journey I suggest you to use ghoul race, because I used it and it works really good. But if you want a bit more movement speed you can switch to mink as well. If this video wasn't objective I would put this at the first place because I think that it is really the meta for grinding. So. For the accessory you want to use the ghoul mask. You can get it for 50 ectoplasm at the second sea cursed ship. It's really up. It gives 10% life leech and 35% more running speed and 500 energy. This life leech basically restores your health when you deal damage to players and NPCs, you get less health restoration when damaging the NPCs. And if you pair this ghoul mask accessory with the ghoul race it's such a bomb combination. Why? Well that's because you'll get even more life leech added on top of your ghoul mask life leech so your regeneration will be insane. This is especially good in raids when you face a lot of enemies and bosses so you can hit them all at once so you will regen very very fast. And for the fighting style we will of course go with the god human. It's more or less best fighting style in the blocks fruits. But why this build isn't on the first place? Well this build is mainly for late 3rd C, end game, so most players cannot apply it to themselves. But the next build is a bit more applicable to more players so let's go. So the best build. Again for the race we got the ghoul for same reasons. But. For the fighting style we got the shark man karate. Most players consider it the best fighting style for Buddha and overall best fighting style for grinding. Which I totally agree. That's because it has really big hitbox which is perfect for Buddha, since you're so big, and it has low knockback so you can spam M1. And also other stats are really good. But now the accessory. We will need the Santa hat. Maybe you never heard of it? It is a rare accessory that can be bought from Santa Claus at the North Pole for 500 candies. You get 12.5% more damage on your sword and blocks fruits 30% more running speed, perfect for Buddha, and other minor buffs. So yeah. Keep in mind guys that this list is made by me and my opinion but I also tried to keep up the objective ranking of these builds. So if you have different builds make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Also. 
If you need help with getting some of these items I left a card for you to click in the upper right corner every time that item appears in the video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.